Hey, what's happening guys? You know what, we're gonna do something different today. I buy a ton of stuff off of Amazon and I was looking for surge strips and this is Amazon's recommended. This is a two pack for like less than $10. So what I thought to myself is, are they safe? Should I feel safe putting these in my house with my family? Well, we're going to find out. Let's see. Uh, caution, do not exceed 15 amps. Do not install, install this device as there is not at least 10 meters of wire between the outlet and the service panel. Okay. Indicator light should be red when it's turned on. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, let's grab one of these, and yes, we're going to base our assumption off of one of these. There's nothing you can do about random uh, assembly error. If it happens, it happens. But what we're going to test, good, they have real screws. What we're going to test is whether or not this is wired safely or is going to cause any problems in your home. Now, you can see there that it does have the UL label, which is the Underwriters Laboratory here in the U.S. That's a good sign. Doesn't mean it's not forged, but it's a good sign. Okay, suppressed voltage rating, 800 volts. So it'll, it'll stop the spike of 800 volts. Now, is that going to stop lightning? Oh, hell no. You're talking hundreds of kilovolts and probably kiloamps. But this will take the first hit. All right. So the first way we're going to test this is with a simple socket tester. If you are unfamiliar with these guys, they're super simple to use as long as you've got a good one. You plug it in and it's going to give you a reading on these three little neon indicators down here. As long as we get two neon, the two neon indicators on the right to light, everything is okay. If we don't, if something is wrong, we will get one of these indications, and that makes it really easy to figure out what's wrong. So before we plug it into our surge panel, or surge protector, I'm going to plug it in to the strip that we use to power everything on the bench, and if I turn out some of these lights, you should be able to see there we have the two amber lights lit pardon me so that means we are properly wired there which means we're properly wired back to the box so with that said we can plug in our surge strip and you can see the light is on, light is off. And we'll plug this in here. And you can see we have the two amber lights on. Wow, that's really tight. Down there also, two amber lights. So, so far, so good. Next, we'll check for voltage drop. All right, we're plugged in at the wall here, and today's flavor of electricity in the Ohio Valley, greater Pittsburgh area, is 123.3.4.5. Let's call it 123.5 volts. Power up our strip. And... We have about, a, maybe, I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. Happen when I move it around. No. All right, so no voltage drop or a negligible voltage drop. That's telling me so far that the wires are good. So all signs point to this being a decent quality product so far. 
Now for our next test. And for that I'm going to bring out a piece of test equipment that you've only seen in one other video. If you are a Sparky, you know what this is. This is a Megger, also known as an insulation tester. So I'll show you how this works here in a second. Okay, so the way this tester works is it'll put a high voltage at a low, low current through the two probes and then it will read out what the resistance there is. For instance, I think this is a, uh, pretty sure this is 100k. So if we clip 100k resistor in here, like so, and press the button, it's going to put 250 volts through it and read the resistance. And read the resistance. You know what? These damn alligator clips are crap. Hold on. We'll do it this way. We'll rig a little something, something, something up. Make it work. Don't you fear? So let me make sure nothing's touching on this side over here. Good. And you can see we have basically no resistance through there. So that would be bad. All right, so let's start out. We always start out low and we work our way up. We will go between live and neutral on the plug. 250 volts good, 500 volts is good, 1000 volts, all good. Now we will go between live and ground, again, 250, oh, 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 look at that, 500 volts, we're only getting a half of an ohm. Let me make sure I got everything spread out here and good yeah 500 volts half an ohm interesting and at a thousand volts same oh same -o. just trying to again with it on Okay, that's a little lower than I would like to see, and that being said, we're going to have to look inside now and see what the, uh, see what the component, I'm not going to really a lot of components, going to be a couple metal strips, but we need to see what that looks like. Thankfully, this one uses, you know, standard Phillips head screws, unlike that smart power strip crap that I tore down before had security screws in because you know, I didn't want anybody seeing what kind of a black magic they were working in there. Like anybody really gives a shit how their power strip is put together. Except for, you know, a bunch of nerds and geeks like us, right? Can't imagine anybody else would care. So we basically had to use a I had to use whatever method I could to get that thing open, and it was a, it was a pain in the butt. All right, everybody out, is everybody in? Is everybody in? Is everybody in? The show is about to begin. All right, where's that from? Major points, if you know that. All right, so, show, my best Sean Connery impression. Show, here's what we're looking for here, Money Penny. As I suspected here, see, we have one strip for the live, one strip for the neutral, then a strip from the ground. Uh, what does the AVE says? The bigger the gob, the better the job. 
Yeah, they got some massive, massive, massive gobs of solder on there. Uh, all right, how's this switch dingle buried in there? That's going to be the issue for getting it out. All right, so, well, what the hell, all right? Let's see if we can get it out. One moment, please. Well, it don't want to come out. What they've done is they put the switch in and then they soldered this board in. But here's what we'll do. We're going to zoom in and I think you can pretty much see everything. All right, first of all, if we're looking here, you can see right here, this lighter color is our spacing. And that's, you know, almost a quarter inch also we've got cut out in the board we've got good separation just about everywhere now if you look here underneath that capped on tape that uh, that's a mauve metal oxide varistor and there's another one here right there's an LED and the switch and frankly that's all there is to it this is an incredibly simple bit of kit it's rated for uh, 800 volts live to neutral live to ground neutral to ground and we tested it and it did pass I would like to see a little higher I would like to see one meg across and all but um, that being said it did pass it is safe um, Amazon's basic Amazon recommended uh, two for ten dollar power strips yeah I could recommend them for your house they're safe they won't burn you down so that's it for today if you enjoyed this give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons I use patreon money to buy these that's it I'm out peace